Welcome to New York City and the pandemic, August 11th, 2020. I took a trip into New York City today. As you can see from these pictures, quite deserted, policemen on horses, not wearing face masks. Everybody else is, though. Went down to 3060, my old office. They're at 50% capacity of the building. Everything was just a little bit worse than my trip a month ago. There are less bus lines going into the city, some canceled August 7th, second cancellation. The subways are still deserted. It's very surreal. It's like a Twilight Zone episode. I only had one bus coming home at 6 o'clock. No buses in the afternoon. One bus to get there, to do my deeds. They were selling face masks everywhere, in the stores, probably to survive. Everybody was wearing a face mask in the streets. Paranoia set in. Best coffee in New York City in a long time from that stand on 34th Street. I sat in Madison Park for two hours in 91 degree heat because there are no seats any place. No seats in the restaurants unless you go to a high-end restaurant with seats outside. But the restauranters told me that what are we going to do when it gets cold? We can't put seats outside. We have no capacity inside. And the streets are out there illegally. This is one of the nicest restaurants I've, I've seen done. But this won't be allowed normally, all those outdoor seats. And our mask and, well, you can get masks in this shop 24-7. Not the same kind, but you know, stimulate your sex life. And here's the old limelight, and they've made a restaurant out of it, and it's really nice. The streets have very surreal, very surreal. New York Cuomo, now there are checkpoints coming into the city. You have to quarantine yourself for 14 freaking days. Can you imagine that? Well, they put you in a box. Here's this guy perusing his next mask. Should I scare my girlfriend? Or should I just scare at the pedestrians on the street? And look at all those heads. Who knew face masks would be so popular? This was the highlight of my day. The guy outside Macy's with his bubbles spreading coronavirus. Yep. Oh, there goes a big spore. How exciting. But it's like New York used to be theater on every corner. You could see something new and exciting. Right now, it's just me and the bubble man. Well, now you like my little journey into New York City for an adventure. Came back to my car, guess what? I was the only car in the bus parking lot. For those of you who left New York City and missed the old days, now you can be truly glad. Because New York has gone back to the blight. The 60s. And we had three gates on every window. And the city was dirty and filthy. 